Hello, and thank you for tuning in for episode 10 of Powerful Parenting for Today's Kids. Today is one of the first nice days that we have where I live, where, that we've had this spring where I live, and so I decided to take this show on the road. I am recording this in my backyard, so you may hear birds or planes or dogs or whatever else in the background, but that is one of the delicious parts of life, isn't it? So today I wanted to do another episode or another segment of help. This one is help. My child is sensitive. I was talking with a mom this weekend about her sensitive kiddo and it inspired me to write a blog on it on the topic and to also do this podcast episode because I think that a lot of us are raising sensitive kiddos and may not know how best to nurture them so that they can thrive in this world. This world can be extremely rough for sensitive kiddos, also called empaths, if you've ever heard that word. This can be a really tough world to go through, to live in, if you don't know, if you're empathic and highly sensitive and you don't know how to protect your own self in this world. So I wanted to share, I wanted to add something to the blog that I wrote talking all about this and the four steps that I went through to help my sensitive kiddo with her highly empathic nature. So Dr. Judith Orloff is a fabulous resource in talking about or learning about empaths. She has a lot of information on her website, which I will also share here in the show notes. And I wanted to highlight some of the things she talks about with highly sensitive people. Highly sensitive, well, let me say this, empaths are highly sensitive people. They tend to absorb other people's emotions very easily like a sponge. Happiness, sadness, anger, frustration, stress, they absorb it all. They tend to be introverted because being with people and naturally absorbing their energy can be very overwhelming to them. And so many times they need time alone to recharge their batteries. They also can be highly intuitive, highly, highly intuitive. They go on gut instinct without even maybe necessarily understanding what that means, but they they pick up a lot of information about the world around them through ways that aren't even easy to articulate. They can be overwhelmed in intimate, close relationships. And so they may need their space from their friends, their boyfriend or girlfriend. I mean, this goes for empaths who are children as well as adults. They can be a target for energy vampires. So those people who are very needy and clingy and tend to be attracted to sensitive people, that is who empaths tend to attract. And if empaths are not careful, those energy vampires can suck all of their energy out and cause them a great deal of struggle, stress, and challenge. Empaths tend to be replenished in nature. So spending time around in the woods, in the sunshine, around water, the beach, the lake. This is really, really good for empaths to recharge their batteries. They also have highly tuned senses. So noise, light, too much commotion, that can be overwhelming. Too many people in a room, that can be overwhelming for empaths. And they have really big hearts, but they sometimes tend to give too much, which kind of goes along with the energy vampire idea. 
So if you feel that you are an empath or your child is an empath, I offer here a technique that one of my dear friends who's also an empath told me she does that really, really helps her. So when she knows that she's going into a conversation that may be highly emotionally charged or she's going into a challenging situation or a confrontation or uh, something she has to address with someone, anything where she anticipates that it could be very emotionally draining or taxing on her or that the person is going to be very needy of her emotional energy, she envisions a white light around her, almost like protecting her body and her energy in a bubble of beautiful white light. And she really does think of it, envision it like a filter or like a bubble. And so she does this almost like putting on a coat of armor or a shell before she has that interaction with that person so that she can be careful not to absorb their energy in the interaction. And this works very, very well for her to move through those more challenging interactions with people in her life. And I taught it to my daughter, who's also an empath. I taught it to her when she was young, and it really works well for her, too, when she remembers to use it. And so I offer that tool to you to help you or your child, if you are a highly sensitive person or if they are, to really have a powerful way to still be able to be that helper, that giver, that supportive, caring person but in a way that doesn't chip away at you or your child and still leaves you intact to be able to help the next person that comes along. So that is my gift for you today. And I hope wherever you are, you make it a fabulous rest of the day for yourself.